I'm just playing. It won't work. Even though we changed the video on me in the middle of my sentence, no weapons are formed against me shall prosper. Okay? None. While we doing that, let me show you the feather my baby found for me. That's stuck in my hair. You can see, yeah. See? He got me a big one too, but I'm not getting up to get it. He's been finding feathers everywhere. Next is... Ah! <laughs> he came out the other day! Um, his song, but these are just the lyrics. We be in the city. Hey, all my people with me. So you got you some real deal people with you now. And how does that feel? Doesn't it feel lovely when you can kind of lean back and you know somebody will catch you? You know, it's a good feeling. Good feeling. Yeah. Shout out, young Joe, fellow Cappy. Next is, huh, speaking of earth signs. Here goes our Virgo. He's an earth element, he or she. Um, their planet is Pluto. Their spirit animal is the sheep and the hummingbird. Let's see if I wrote anything about them. And loyalty is key in all relationships for Virgos. It has to be a two-way street. That's all I'm saying. But be advised, be aware. I tell you, I love Virgos. I don't got no beef with no nobody. I love everybody. No matter what, I still love you. I might not mess with you, but I do love you. And we'll guide you if you'd like me to. I'm open and available. Book a session. Next is stay hydrated. There it comes out again. Drink more water. Hopefully, we are remaining hydrated, you guys. It's a very uh, important time right now. Big, 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 big shifts are happening. I know you feel it. Energies are creeping closer. Um, things are taking place. Beautiful things are arising. Uh, other things are crumbling. So, you know, definitely stay hydrated. It's very, very important. Your body is majority water anyway. Just rehydrate the body as much as you can. Uh, water, water, water. I can't stress it enough. I have never been a person to drink a whole lot of water. I mean, I drink water. Now I drink it a whole lot more. But before now, I didn't think it was important, which is probably why I was where I was. But now that I know, it makes a huge difference. With clarity, with vision with um, deciphering dreams and, and, and things and situations that are happening, you have to cleanse the mind, body, and spirit. Not just with water, but water is a major part of it. Next is be still and know he is God. Sabi shirt. Oh, my son wanted me to put this in. He was wearing a shirt the other day that said that on it. And we know God is not a he. He's a frequency, it was on his shirt, so I just wrote it. Again, it's the message, not the messenger. We don't want to break every little thing down that, you know. And I like this. Who is this? Summer Walker? White tea. Hey. Next is, what do we have before? 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Now we got angel number 999. Nine, nine. Okay, so let's see. What's the difference? Okay, engine number 999, just three nines this time. One cycle of your life mission is coming to an end as another important new phase is beginning. New beginnings, baby, new beginnings. Everything is uh, replenished. The old is gone. Uh, karmic debts hopefully are all cleared. Um, you're walking into newness. And like I said, we're probably on these baby legs, me included. You know, so when you get a little scared, don't run back to what you know. Just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, and eventually everything else begins to show up when you least expect it. From here, from there, from everywhere, and it just comes together. It's a beautiful thing. Just be advised, be aware. Uh, old cycle's coming to an end, and another important phase is beginning for you. For you. Me too, but definitely for you. Oh, we did that one. Okay, next is... Let me see. Observation mode. Some form of communication is coming your way. Okay, so sit still. Remain on your throne. Just be advised, be aware, be aware that some form of communication is coming your way. Retrograde. Messing it up. You know. Hey. I shouldn't be listening to this stuff, but I am. <laughs> Next is... 
can't even see. Oh, nationality. Okay. The status of belonging to a particular nation. A lot of people think nationality has a lot to do with your skin color. But if we actually look up the definition of a lot of words that we use a lot, that other people have implanted into our vocabulary through school, through um, communion, through, you know, just clubs and people and things of that nature. You, If you don't look up the real meaning, you just go by what somebody else tells you, that's what you'll think. But this doesn't have anything to do with color. Uh, it's the state of belonging to a particular nation. Love on, love on me. Hey. Next is... You two were never supposed to date. It was a dark mission. Wow. Mm. Uh, maybe it's this person that wants to know if you can still be friends or the one you had to clear your throat on. Let them know. They can't compete where they don't compare or whoever did this double back and you were supposed to let go. I'm not sure. Be advised, be aware. You two were never supposed to date. It was a dark mission. Wow. Next is the answers in the eyes. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. So be advised, be aware. The answers that you're looking for is in the eyes of the individual that is running through your mind right now. Um, the yes or the no, the clarity or the uh, confusion is in the eyes. Be advised, be aware. That's deep. Next is your determination got you. Let me see. Your determination can get you anything you want. No need for a crowd. Yeah. But just stay diligent. Keep doing your work and don't worry about if people see it or praise it or love it or like it or share it or whatever the heck we keep trying to get people to do for free that they won't. Don't worry about it because uh, other people that resonate with you will automatically come along and nine times out of ten it will be non-blend related people that will show you support, uh, lift you up, provide you praise, recognition love and light and that's okay that's okay that's okay it's it's fine it may hurt some people but once you understand that people are put in your life for specific reasons and the reasons that they're placed there you'll be happy to know that they can no longer remain in that place to do those things because they're not always of the divine white light you have to look around remain in observation mode as much as you can while you're still working and getting things together but Observe your surroundings. Listen to what people are saying. Don't take those little sly jokes as, as just a joke. Nine times out of ten, there's some truth in it. Okay? Just be advised, be aware. Your determination is going to get you there. You don't need a crowd. It's not important. Next is encapsulated. Yeah, see that? A crowd can cause you to feel suffered, you know, or suffocated. Not suffered. Maybe suffering. I don't know. Surrounded by a gelatinous or a membrous envelope, condensed. Yeah, doesn't that feel heavy? Right after, uh, no need for a crowd, right? Encapsulated, right? The crowd is going to come because once people understand what you're doing, how you are moving the narrative, how you are empowering the collective, and how you are spreading love and light, they'll show up. Hopefully at that time, you'll be somewhere where you're completely inaccessible and it's not an issue or concern, and you don't have to be involved unless you choose to, but I'm telling you, if you just focus on the journey, put all the work into the journey, and put one foot in front of the other, everything else will meet you. I promise you. I promise you. It's still uh, free will. You know, people can make their own decisions, but you know what you're going to do before you do it, if it's the right way to do it or the wrong way, or if you're lying or telling the truth or if you're taking advantage of somebody or you're truly genuinely uh, interested, you know, and eventually that person will too. Depending on where they are with the intuition, they may already know and allow you to play your hand anyway. Moving on, Mike. Okay, so that's a name. First, middle, last, person, place, or thing, however it relates in your life. Could be a family member, 
God rest his soul. I know I had a very close friend of mine named Mike that passed away, not, well, a few years ago now. Um, surprisingly, you know, but he was a good guy. Really good guy. Um, but it could be, you know, anyone. It could be, there's multiplicity of Mike's all over the world. Michael Jackson came out in my last reading. You know, he might be, I don't think anybody called him Mike, but I don't know. Anything's possible. Be advised, be aware, however it relates in your life. It could be a middle name, first name, last name, family member, a stranger, a co-worker, somebody you just met, however it relates. Next is Jabari Osazi, The African Origins of Christianity. Okay. This is a person on YouTube. He follows a certain ideology. Um, Kemet, my aunt, and he is a priest, I believe. He's married, so maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't know uh, the terms of whatever. But he's a, a, a very good um, lecturer. That's the word. And he's going to be doing the African origins of Christianity, showing you how much Egyptian information, terminology, and um, parallels there are to the Bible and um, why, why am I going blank? The Bible and um, Egyptian teachings. Let me, I wish I had a bell. Gotta break that energy up. Okay, moving on. The next is you snooze, you lose. You dropped your diamond, and I picked her up. Oh wow! Woo! Somebody talking trash. <laughs> All freaking love song. I don't think it's freaking though, because it's got the little asterisks. But never heard it before. A W A. Effing love song. Okay, so somebody dropped their diamond. Now, this is lyric, somewhat lyrics from a song. By the person. Anyway. You dropped your diamond. And I picked her. I picked her up. Okay. Somebody talking big to somebody. Hopefully you didn't lose your opportunity. Wait too long. Play too many games. Uh, and lose your diamond. Next is. Very powerful daily affirmations. Here we go. Affirmations y'all. I'm strong. I'm enough. I love myself. I have everything I need. I welcome abundance. I have the strength of the divine. I no longer allow fear to rule or stop me. No way, no how. And OM, chanting, merging with the absolute. So when you OM and close the eyes, and it, during meditation, they say you are actually connecting with the divine. So... You would do something to the effect of um, um, You can't see me, but I have my hands like this. Why, well, I don't know. just naturally did it. My legs are crossed and my hands are on my knees as they're in Indian style. I close my eyes naturally how I do it and just um, um, and you want to feel the vibration and allow that energy to just rise. Um, no outside noise or distractions. Um, and you just do that and continue to do that for however long it feels comfortable to you. That is chanting. And it's a beautiful experience. Moving on. That's part of our daily affirmations. So you've done your affirmations for today. Next is. I said cursive. Como estas? How, how are you? I think it is. Let me see. Yeah. Como estas? How are you? Spanish. Next is Rick. First, middle, last, person, place, or thing, however it relates to your life. Could be a stranger, family member, celebrity, it could be an old classmate, whoever. Next is, oh, wait, how does it go? This way. Ritomi. 
I do. That is a beautiful song. If you haven't heard it, I suggest you pull it up. But this is definitely love energy. Wow. Okay. One second, you guys. <laughs> 